Hey guys and welcome to a brand new tutorial. This time we're going to be looking at creating soft shadows. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to uh, go into your rendering tab at the top of your user interface. Go to render setup. In the common tab in there, you want to scroll down to uh, assign renderer right at the bottom. Within there, we've got the production just go across and hit the three dots. Already in there by default, it will say default scanline renderer. But that's quite a basic renderer. We want to change it to a mental ray. <clears throat> now, I'm using 3ds Max 2013. If you're using an older version, it may not say NVIDIA mental ray, but it's fine just to click onto the mental ray option. So make sure you click onto that one. We don't really want to change any other options in here. Um, if you go into indirect, illumination you've got basic options here um, you want to ensure final gather is turned on and currently it's set to draft of course when you drag this up it changes a whole host of settings within this window um, so it, you know the higher it is obviously the slower the render so for now we're going to leave it as draft kind of just like for the test renders that we're going to be doing now before we can create some soft shadows we need to create a basic scene so I'm going to go ahead and create a plane to start with which is going to be the ground for our little mini scene and let me go ahead and color this gray just so it's a neutral color I'm going to add some objects on here so a few boxes which I'm going to leave uh, with whatever color that they come up with so let's go ahead and create a cone as well. I don't really want the cone to be grey, so let's go ahead and make that blue. Let's make it a sky blue. And let's go and make a sphere as well. So just dragging this up. Like so. So we've got three objects there which uh, are going to give us a different variety of shadow basically. So let's go ahead first of all and create our light. So seeing as we've got this, this ground here, we've got the objects, we need to create the actual light source. Now again, if you're using an older version of 3ds Max, you're not going to get this realistic option in your perspective viewport. So you'll be working with shaded. So I'm going to go ahead and click onto shaded just so we're all on the same playing field here. So I don't want to be going into realistic and you guys not really understanding and not getting the same benefits that I would using realistic. So click onto shaded just under uh, this option just here. So we're going to go in the create tab once more, go into the lighting uh, option just here. So lights and then under the drop down, go on to photometric. You want to click onto free light and it will give you a little uh, message to say that the uh, exposure control will need to be changed to MR photometric exposure control, which is fine. So just press yes. Once you uh, press yes, you can then input your light. So you're going to click it anywhere in your 3D space and you're going to drag it up because we don't want the light to be from the, uh, from the ground. We want it to be slightly ele elevated for this particular scene. So that's an okay kind of angle where it's going to be shining onto the objects. So now that the light is in position, we need to go into the modify tab while the light is selected. And then let's scroll right to the top because we're going to change a number of options. First of all, we're not going to use a template of any sort. We're going to go ahead and create this ourselves. Under the shadows, you want to make sure it's set to on. And in the drop down, go to ray traced shadows. Very last option. Scroll right the way, uh, scroll a little further down and you can change the color, sorry, the color of the light here. So where you've got filter color, you can set this to whatever color you like. So if it's more of an outdoor scene, you might want to put a slight orangey yellow kind of tinge. If it's uh, a sunny day, for instance, if it's nighttime, you want it white with maybe a slightly bluish tinge to it. Um, so you can play around with the lighting effects uh, to your liking. Um, we've got here under intensity, currently set to 1500. 
I know the number seems very high, but for the free light, that's fine. We can adjust this later on as well. You want to go a little further down to where it says Shape Area Shadows. Now, within this drop down under Emit Light from Shape, you want to click on that drop down and click onto Sphere. Now, that's very important when you want to create soft shadows because where you've got this new option that appears called Radius, what that controls is basically the amount of soft shadow. So, what I tend to do is I tend to um, make this number very high to start with. So let's start with 50 um, and we can experiment with that and let's go in and try to render this. Now there's a good chance this won't look right, it might look quite odd so I'm going to show you, it might not show anything at all so we're going to have a look here. Okay that actually looks pretty decent if I do say so myself in the first attempt. We've got the kind of soft shadow effect there which looks quite nice um, if you zoom in, we've got a few speckles here, but that again is down to the rendering uh, options which you set to draft. Obviously, if you set that high, it's going to be a lot smoother. Uh, but for the purpose of this tutorial, that's perfectly fine. So let's go ahead now. Because the shadows look pitch black, um, and I, I, you know, for me, they're a little bit too soft, so I might sharpen those up a little bit. So the way that you would sharp sharpen them up is to reduce the radius number. So currently it's set to 50. Let's drop that down to possibly 30 and see how that looks. Yep, so that's looking a little sharper there, a lot nicer. So I'm going to stick with this for now. I might actually expand the size of this uh, of this plane on the ground just to give you a better idea of how the shadows are falling on the surface. Like so. Now we need to add a skylight just to remove that um, kind of effect of a pitch black shadow because you might not want that effect so what you need to do is go back into the create tab ensure you're in light and then go to standard click onto skylight and throw in a skylight now by default yours will be set to one so let's see what that looks like so one is a little bit too bright for me I think that's just washing them out a bit too much we want to reduce that number down um, considerably so I'm going to go down to about 0.4 and again just check again what that looks like now that's looking a little bit better now so you can see there how we can kind of experiment with the light um, and get some different effects so I'm just going to change the color of the light as well so let's go ahead zoom out a little bit select the actual light itself and go ahead and under filter color let's change it to something random like purple So you can see how that kind of works uh, with the with this scene. It gives you kind of a you know a weird kind of uh, weird effect that could be used uh, for a number of uses, I'm sure. Um, so I'm just going to leave it. Maybe give it a slight kind of yellowy orange tinge. So very very slight and so subtle like that. So you can see how that's looking now. Now in your when you render, if if you find that um, and actually what I've been using to render is the F9 key. So you want to press F9 to render that out. I'm very much, uh, I very much do apologize about not explaining that further. So you can render by pressing F9 if you wish. You can also click on here, render frame window, just in your user interface. Or you can go to rendering and render. So there's three ways that you can get that render uh, up. Now, if your render shows pitch black or it's a little bit too bright or a little bit too dark, you can either change some of the options of the lighting and all that kind of stuff, or you can go to rendering and go down to exposure control. Now, what this does, if you hit um, preview render, it's going to give you a little mini preview. So I'm going to zoom in a little further just so we get a better idea of uh, what that looks like. And under... <clears throat> Under here, you might have a preset where it either looks too dark like that or it looks a little bit too dull or pitch black again. So what you need to do at this stage is don't worry too much about any of the options that might be a little bit wrong. But what we're going to do quite simply is we're going to go onto exposure value and we're going to drag that value down. And as you can see, the lower the value, the brighter that your render is. And you can see that in your render in your render preview just here. So let me just 
whack this up again, make it really dull. You see how that affects the render. So I'm pressing F9 again. So it's very dull. So that's an easy way to control the overall exposure of your um, of your scene. So now I've reduced it down to two. And that's much brighter. So I really hope that was useful, guys. Um, again, you can play around with a few more options, like under indirect illumination, you can drag up the final gather and you'll notice that it will take a little bit longer to render it kind of works it out in a few stages but the overall effect will be a lot smoother in terms of the shadow so while this is rendering guys I just want to say please do make sure you follow me on twitter and uh, make sure you subscribe like and comment let me know what you think and what tutorials you want to see because i will endeavor to put those up for you so you can see that's a lot cleaner now the shadow is a lot smoother so a very cool effect indeed so thanks a lot guys and I will catch you all next time.